right, so we got gas and now we're driving through Anago, Wisconsin. Again, I've never been here before. Don't recall ever coming over to this area uh, because I really never needed, had the need to, but I figured I'll come visit today. So uh, why not? It's a beautiful day. It's about 56 degrees, a little chilly, not too bad, but. KFC and Taco Bell. Hmm. I guess Yum, who owns those, just really like likes to combine the two restaurants. Very interesting. Usually I'll see like a taco, not a Taco Bell, but a, a KFC and a Long John Silver's or something. This must be downtown Anago now. Oh, I didn't even know there was more stuff out here. I could have just waited. Pretty big Walmart over to the right. many of them. Everywhere we go we see one.
so it looks like we're going to take this next road off to the left. County B is what we want. Never been out here neither, so definitely out here. Not sure what that car's doing in the road up there. Stopped in our lane? Oh, okay. I thought he stopped in the, across the lane, but no, he's stop there on the side road and this is B Kempster. That's what I'm looking for, Kempster. So K-E-M-P-S-T-E-R, -E -E Kempster. I, get, I don't even know if that's how I'm saying. I'm probably slaughtering that name, but that's what I was looking for. It's just a small village, so... Really do 
beautiful. really cool lake over here off to the left. So we're in Kempster now. cemetery here, got a nice little lake here, very cool. So what I'm looking for and the reason why I came out this far is because there is actually a, a, a an airplane Airbnb out here that's really cool. It's a World War II plane, I believe, um, and it's a shot in the dark. I don't even know if we're going to find it, but I, I thought it would be kind of cool to come out here to see it if I could, and maybe, maybe I can ask some of the residents if I see somebody out near the road. Uh, like they can point me to that area basically i just want to get a video of it because i thought it was kind of cool it's like way out in the middle of nowhere so i know that it's like seven houses in 
from this road. So now I can work my way back from here. Because I know it's not over here. Again, I don't know if we're gonna find it, so. It'd be kind of cool, but again, it's, it's like a shot in the dark, so. They don't give you the directions to it or anything else until you actually go online and actually, you have to uh, set up a reservation. And this is private property, so I'm not going down there. spent quite a bit of time looking it up and like I said it's it's a lot harder when you don't really you just have like a an area but you don't have like I know it's by a body of water because you can see the body of water from a thing and it's over here in this area however that that's a lot of places so here to the right. You know, there's water all around us up here, so, but that doesn't mean anything. It's a private driveway. Another private driveway. this way I think it's it has to be within this area over here somewhere there's some people standing by the road over here so I'm gonna ask those guys maybe they can guide me So I just talked to some really cool neighbors up here and they gave me some pointers of, of the place. And the funny thing is I was at the place just a few minutes ago. Uh, it's the sliding gate uh, area. And I'm hoping to see if I can go up here to actually get some video. They said it's two driveways down and it's the one that has the gate, the sliding gate on it. And then the driveway splits and it would be off to the right. 
So let's go check this out. Again, I don't know if I'll actually be able to see anything or see it, period. But the cool thing is, is that I'm going to try. Uh, and I figured I'd bring you guys along. So, worst case scenario, they don't want me to film. And then I'm going to cut the camera because, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to cause any trouble. I just want it to, this is where it's at. This is really beautiful. Oh, there it is right there. So, that is the Airbnb that's out here in Anago. Look at that, that is so cool. And apparently it's 350 a night uh, and you gotta get two nights, so that's $700. Apparently that front end lights up too, which is really cool. They got a back porch, can sleep four in there. That is so cool. So I did find it, I'm, I'm so stoked. Again, um, it's very weird how they only give you the directions once you actually um, go online uh, to get it. However, the friendly neighbors kind of gave me some pointers and stuff, so. Uh, but that is so cool, I think that's awesome. That's a really neat Airbnb. I've never seen anything like that. That is so neat. Looks like this wing is completely fully attached, but that other side over there is not. That is so cool. And again, that's an Airbnb up here in Kempster, uh, right outside of Anago, Wisconsin. Apparently he has a treehouse uh, one too, uh, Airbnb, but th this is like phenomenal. So, <sighs> that is so cool. I'm not gonna get any closer because again, there may be people that are staying the night there. Um, Actually, check-in, I think, is at 4. Uh, actually. I love this. It's so cool. And I think, like I said, the people had told me it was like 350 a night. So this is the stairs that go up. This is underneath. Oh, there's a wing right there too. There's the... Got a grill, a little porch. This is so cool. <laughs> I like how it's off the ground like this, where it's raised. And apparently, like I said, those lights in the front actually light up. Lady luck. And something in the cabin lights up too, I heard. That is so cool. All right, this is the airplane Airbnb out here in Anago. Very cool. I'll see you guys on the next one. You guys take care.